Previously, I removed the oil cooler to try and fix the issue with water mixing into the oil. I bought a good used one off of eBay. I inspected and reassembled with some silicon-based grease to help prevent more corrosion. Then I reinstalled the cooler and poured in some fresh oil. Did a quick run on the hose before a lake test. Well, it didn't go like I had hoped, so time to figure out what's going on. I removed all the exhaust to inspect it and see if I had any clogged ports due to salt buildup. I did find a hole. I guess we'll get any one of these. Well, the exhaust wasn't bad other than that small hole. Next up, I'll check the coolant pipe under the intake manifold and the lines go into the stator housing. Stator housing looks completely blocked. At this point, I probably have a bad head gasket from overheating, so I'll remove the engine and inspect as I tear it down. It's not supposed to look like that. Yep, oil in the intake manifold. That'll do it. So it definitely seems like it's the head gasket that's the main problem now. Luckily, I have a spare engine ready to go if needed. Now, time to see what's going on inside. Good old milky oil, of course. Cylinder walls and pistons look to be in good shape at least. Now for the main culprit. I don't see any glaring signs of failure, but I'd still say I'm about 90% sure it's at fault. The cylinder head itself did not show any signs of warping, and I can't see any other obvious signs of failure anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and inspect the bottom end and see how bad the stator housing clogged as well. If nothing else, this will get a thorough cleaning of the sludge that's accumulated. As expected, the main bearings look great and I'll definitely be reusing everything in the bottom end. Here's a link to my other video where I go much more in depth for a full engine rebuild. no good. That probably contributed to my head gasket issue. I would say the head gasket failed before I even got it and was a result of a totally clogged cooling system. In any case, I'm going to set this engine aside to build later. For now, I'm going to be using this spare engine and getting the ski up and running again shortly. <laughs> 